Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. Um, today is one of the most difficult uh, videos that I'm going to try to attempt to do. And I want to know if any of y'all are out here dealing with this. Um, I've talked about it openly, um, dealing with my aging parents. Um, and um, trying to um, make their, you know, days as comfortable as possible. And sometimes that's very difficult. And I know that um, sometimes culturally the things that we usually don't do uh, in certain extreme cases, you know, it has to be done. I, I have a friend whose mother was suffering from um, Alzheimer's, and uh, she left the property, and it was the middle of the night, and she put her house gown on and left and got hit by uh, a car. So you can already imagine how messed up my friend is, the fact that her mom got hit by a car on her watch. Um, and she passed away. Well, it's um, a challenge right now for me uh, because I have two parents. And when I was talking to my father, and a lot of y'all know the history of myself and my dad. He sounded just like Baba Dick Gregory. And I know a lot of y'all, and I don't mean to offend anybody with this um, conversation. I just want to have a hard conversation with the family, people that are in denial. Um, you know, do we, are we aware of the early signs of dementia and Alzheimer's when our family members um, have these things? Are we able to deal with it? Um, I know how speaking and still having engagements was, was what kept Baba Dick alive. And because he was a walking library, a walking Smithsonian Institute, right? However, because I remember Dick Gregory and at 61, I remember him in his younger days, and to watch him deteriorate, I know the last few years of his life, nobody can tell me that he wasn't suffering some type of dementia and or Alzheimer's. And the thing about that is when people, when you try to talk, have a real conversation like I did the other day with some black people and they really got angry with me. And I'm saying, family, you know, we can't be in denial about every damn thing. I'm dealing with this, and I'm, and the reason why I said that is because my father is a, also a walking Smithsonian Institute, okay, and I'm also saying it because he worked and marched with Dick Gregory. He run them um, Muslim Muslim Mosque Incorporated in my city, okay. He was a direct representative representative of Malcolm when he left the um, Nation of Islam, so. I'm, I have a lot of respect for these people, more than a lot of, um, it's not just, you know, glamour for me. It's a, really a part of my youth and my father doing underground newspapers. And it just seemed like it was always a lot of buzz and stuff around my house, a lot of activity. Okay. So when I listen to I'll, one of the. I think it was called Cow's Interview. The young, that's the name of the co the show was called Cow's, and the guy was interviewing Baba Dick. And every, and when you can't ask them a question because they take it offensive, or if you question them, that you must don't believe their knowledge, and then they become insulting, or they can just flip at the drop of a hat and just listen to him on some of those interviews. I, it was just horrible to listen to. However, he stayed on the circuit, and of course, everybody start still taking everything he said 
as fat and nothing that seemed just a little bit out there or a little bit more conspiratorial like Michael Jackson being killed with a laser beam after you saw all those marks on his legs. All those, Listen, I've been around dope fiends, and I know when they start shooting up in their legs, they'll shoot up in their toes they'll sh- when they can't hit them veins no more. So, Or they have those ulcers and stuff in their legs. Listen, nobody's not going to tell me. And listening to tape of Michael on some of those videos where he was so slurred and so hype and so messed up. Nobody can be in denial about what happened to Michael Jackson. Why would they have to kill him with a laser beam and he was already messed up on dope like that? It makes no sense. And so I didn't want to It would be disrespectful and laugh, but a couple years ago, I was listening to, I was, no, I was listening to a, a, a program from a couple years ago, which is from a judge named Vonda Evans. Y'all know her over there in Detroit. And I know my Detroit or Michigan um, listeners, y'all know about Vonda. So I don't think she's on the bench anymore, but she called flat because people thought she was being disrespectful to Baba Dick. And I thought that was so unfair because if anybody knows, as a lot of us have, we've seen them all over the internet, the Breakfast Club, on all kinds of things. You have to take what Dick Gregory said with a grain of salt towards the end of his days. Otherwise, you just spreading propaganda or listening to, to stuff that reminds me of what my father said. You know, I was talking to him yesterday, and all I can say is that's who he reminded me of. He said that there's going to be shooting down lasers from the moon for all our asses, just like on Michael Jackson, just like what happened to Michael Jackson. Well, I don't think they have to do that because they have so many of us with high blood pressure and myself included. Um, Thank God I don't have diabetes, but they got so many illnesses out here. They don't have to wait for them to come down from the sky to shoot us a laser. But my dad's talking crazy as hell. And I have to be in denial. I'm not trying to disassociate myself from it. I have to do that for my own sanity's sake. Okay? Why do I feel obligated? You know, to make sure that he's safe. A lot of y'all know I had a father for the first 30 years of my life, and I I was always, um, you know, hell, I, I was just a daddy's girl. Um, I, all my brothers, I only, he only produced me, okay? And um, I, that was the first man I fell in love with, my dad. And I don't mean this in the real derogatory. So if y'all got your minds in the gutter, please get get it get it out or get off the page. I mean, in terms of the standards, in terms of what is great, in terms of what is approved, it was him. And so I believe I um, had a closer relationship in my mind. And when he couldn't control my life and decided to never speak to me again, and I went from talking to him every day to not every three days or every three weeks or every three months or every three years, it was like a whole 30 freaking years. A whole, you understand what I'm saying? Um that he's in interacting with other family members, but not with me. So it's kind of difficult. But I love him dearly because he was a good father to me. And time is such a construct that a lot of times people don't realize just how fast it can pass. 
And when I say haven't spoken to him, I don't mean haven't seen and said hello to him or saw him at the post office or so. I'm talking about the authentic, real relationship or so-called authentic relationship I thought we had. He wasn't there. And it hurt me very bad because it never stopped me from loving my dad. It was just like, what makes you think I can give you that much power over my life? What? I can't. And so when we began to examine these things, and, and it took a lot of therapy and um, for me to be at one with some uh, the relationship that I had with my father. However, he was a father to me, and I cannot allow him to sit there and let complete strangers take care of him. I couldn't even live with myself. So, unfortunately, because I have all brothers, I got nobody to bounce this off of because no feminine energy is around for, for, for me to say, you know, um, besides my daughter, and I don't want to put all that on her. You understand what I'm saying? So it's, it's really interesting that um, when I think about Dick Gregory and I think about my father, they become one and the same. And I know it, it, it became quite a challenge for his family. I know it had to. I know it had to. So if any of y'all, and dementia just don't have to be because you're 87 or you're 30. You can have a continuous long use period of uh, 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 drug use. And have the same result. Memory loss and distortion. You know, people with dementias tend to have problems with short-term memory. And they may remember things from long ago, but forget what happened this morning. Memory distortions also occur. Okay, so I'm, I'm trying to give you a few other things about if you notice the signs in your aging parents. Because you ain't going to notice them in yourself. You know what I mean? Or if somebody has said this to you because it's so subtle, like everything else, you know? People with dementia may confuse people in their memories or combine two or more memories. Sometimes they think an old memory is a new one. Memory issues are the early signs of dementia. Okay? So, you know, and as it get on, you know, some people develop municha, I mean, develop it in their community ability to may, uh, begin to deteriorate. They develop problems with vocabulary and must repeatedly hunt for words during a conversation because they can't, words that came so freely before don't anymore. Over time, some people find communicating difficult enough that they participate less in conversations. I think about that when y'all sitting around people. Because the first thing I want you to do is get the age factor out your mind. Because prolonged period of drug use does the same thing. And I'm seeing a lot of young people, younger people, with all early signs of dementia and Alzheimer's. Really. I mean, dementia for sure. Cognitive issues. Dementia tends to alter an individual's mood. Someone with dementia may be jovial and cheery at one second and deeply remote uh, the next. Some also develop depression. Okay. Um, this unpredictability of mood is usually accompanied by a change in general disposition and of their personality traits. For instance, a shy individual may suddenly seem uninhibited, and this occurs because the individual is losing neurons in certain parts of the brain, and changes depends on the area in which the, uh, the brain is affected. Okay. Um, that, which is very, very interesting right there. 